Hello everyone, this is Edwin from ESC Bubble and joining me today is one of the hot favorites to win Melody Festival in this year, it's Loren. Woo! It's me. Woo indeed! <laughs> see how cool Loren. <laughs> so lovely to see you and speak to you again after so many years. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Um, first of all, can you tell me how did you decide to come back to Melody Festival in this year? It feels like it was the universe that decided it for me. Like, you know, I, I didn't have any thought whatsoever that, that this was going to be my path. And so yeah. the song came to me. Sorry. The song came to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a Bridget Jones. <laughs> <laughs> but so the song came to me and instantly because I, I, I'm very intuitive. I, 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 I listen to my intuition very carefully. And the more you listen to it, the stronger it gets. But when I heard the song, like I could sense that there's something in the making because there was no discussion about the Melody Festival at all. And a couple of weeks later, I got the question. They popped the question. <laughs> like, can you think, can you- Got down on one knee. <laughs> got down on one knee, like, do you want to marry Melody Festival? I'm like, well, I don't know. But so my, my, my initial reaction was like, <laughs> It's so funny how crazy we are sometimes. It was like, what? I don't know. What am I going to do? I, I don't I, I don't know what to say. I, do I have anything to say? Like all these emotions came through me and instantly I said, no, 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 no. But in fact, it was yes, 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 yes. Because I felt it when I heard the song. And so it was a no, but the no was actually a yes. And I just had to just land and like, why am I doing this? What do I want to say? Can I give you guys something that is real? Because I just don't want to stand there and be like, you know, like this. And it, that's not me. So it took a couple of weeks. And then I just, I'm a slow person, but, and then I just landed in the fact that I, I have a narrative. I have something that I want to say. And it's so important to say today with everything that we collectively go through, like pandemic, blah, 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 blah. It's negative, 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 negative. In fact, there are so many positive things mm -hmm. that we have to ch shed light on. And then I knew at that moment, like, okay, this is what I want to say. And I know exactly how to say it. And I'm ready. Let's go in. And you know, it's a process. It's always yeah. up to me. If you ask me a question, I have to think for a while, and then I come back. Otherwise, it's not authentic. It's just like, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, <laughs> I just have to be be in the in the moment, like present, like I am with you right now. I'm with you, but not with somebody else. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it took a while, and the funny thing is, my my team is there. You know, they were like, "You're crazy," because I said no, and they're like, "At and at the end of it, they're like, okay, Lorraine, we respect you. We respect what you say.' So." We're gonna call SVT and just tell them that you know that it's this this year will not happen, and so at that moment, at that moment, I'm like, wait, they're like, it's a yes. I'm like what? <laughs> You've been killing us with a no for weeks, <laughs> and now all of a sudden you say yes. You're crazy. You know? <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna. It was almost like you know when they were about to you know take it away. I was like, no, that's how I felt. No, mm. no. It, you, know. you still wanted it. Yeah, I felt this is my path. Mm. I, I felt it from the start. I don't know why. I don't know what the point <laughs> is. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow here. <laughs> now, as I mentioned before, uh, you are the biggest favorite to win Melody Festival. And uh, all the fans, all the bookies, everyone are considering you as number one. Uh, how does it feel to have such a huge buzz again after Euphoria? It feels crazy and I'm overwhelmed, you know, because my focus and my still my focus is just creating something that you guys mm -hmm. like. I, I, I try not to take in all of the rest because I I'm so afraid that it will somehow change or format the whole thing that I created for you guys and also my my energy. So uh, so my biggest pressure it was and still is that I want want it to be perfect for you guys. That is what I'm focusing on because mm -hmm. the rest I can't control. But I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy. I'm happy for the reactions that I've gotten because I didn't expect it. You know, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful thing when you don't expect anything and you get so much love like hey, <laughs> what happened, man? It's like 
I'm so thankful. I really am. And can you tell me more about the whole concept and the meaning of、uh, the performance? It's very artistic.、Yeah. What did you want to portray? I think it's very layered. But my 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 vision was to create a space that that was familiar, something that you may may have seen, and it's somewhere from nature. Like, and because I have this belief that if we recon and I say reconnect with nature. That's where we get our, all our energy because we live in a society today where everything is moving so fast, and there's、mm-hmm. so much pressure on us. Like collectively, you know, you need to become, you need to be, you need to, you know. There's so many things happening, you know, and we're. I wouldn't say, yeah, we're suffering from it. I, I wouldn't say we're not, and I, I, I just feel like with all the things happening, it changes our. Perspective. We're not maybe so constructive, and so I just wanted to to give you a a, a piece of art that might that might make you feel strength and hope and look at life and you know and and freedom also. That's why I sing in a certain way. That's why we have this cinematic build up where I'm starting very softly, but also when I'm once I'm in, I'm I want to show you guys that there's. It's freedom, power. You know, almost like you're you're screaming out loud on the top of a mountain. Wow, like it, that vibe. It's energy.、Yeah. Like so, I I I wanted to be, I wanted to create the safe space, basically, of a sunrise or a sunset nature. Because I'm laying on a bed of sand, and my nails are made out of stone. <laughs> so everything and the wind and the mist and you know the clouds, everything is something that we've all seen and that we all, I believe, we all love very much.、Mm-hmm. Safe space, and in this space, I wanted you guys to, you know, follow me on this journey of emotions, but positive emotions. You know, happiness, freedom, joy. You know, all of these things that, you know, that are constructive that we need today. You know, and it's all there within ourselves. And once we connect with that, we start making choices from a good、mm-hmm. space. You know, so that was the whole plan. Like, if I could just. For three minutes, that's like what 180 seconds、mm-hmm. of <laughs> like. <it's so> <laughs> <laughs> But that was, you know. So that was the whole idea to just portray something that was that is within us all a need, something that we long for, that we all have, like.、Mm-hmm. So, and 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 also in myself, you know. So I. Because I believe if I feel like I need the strength and hope, and I want to see things constructively, I believe collectively we all somewhere feel that,、mm-hmm. even though we're going through our lives and doing the things that we do, you know. And so, yeah, I wanted it to be light, open, loving, hope, you know, free. All these、mm-hmm. things that I believe we forgot sometimes, and we forget. There are so many beautiful things to live for,、mm-hmm. more beautiful things to live for than not. Yeah,、so. very true. Yeah, it really is. You know, you can just look around you. You can have all these beautiful small details in your life, like oh my god, like, and I'm being fooled by all this like media blah, 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 blah around me, like that I don't, that I that I don't have this, or that I'm not good enough. What? It's just a big illusion. <laughs>、it is wonderful because there's only one of you, and it will never ever come a person that is exactly like you. Yeah, it will never exist. And that's wonderful, like with all the details that you are, like you know. So, if we start looking at things that way, we start making decisions, better decisions, because、mm. it's not so bad. It is actually very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as you mentioned, you created your own space there on the stage, but there was a little incident with the stage invader. Yeah.、Uh, as you said in another interview, you're. Beautiful little activist <laughs> who decided to join you on stage.、Yeah. Uh, did that? How did you feel? And like, what was going through your mind when that was happening? And were you nervous then when you were getting ready to perform your song for the second time? You know, I, I was nervous, but at, first of all, I saw I saw him, and、mm-hmm. he came on stage. And the first thing that popped in my head is like, okay, this is a guy that having so much fun because before I stood on stage, it was just really nice energy in the arena.、Mm-hmm. People. Laughing and having fun, I could I could tell intuitively. I'm like, this is a nice vibe. And so when I saw 
my beautiful little activist running up on stage, I didn't think of him as an activist. I thought it was just somebody that was just so, so excited and he was starting to dance because it looked like he was dancing. And so in my head, I'm like, you know what? Let him be. Yeah. And so the, the, the film team, they will shoot it from another angle. So it's okay. Once he's tired of dancing, you'll go down like, okay, I've done my shit. I've done my shit now. <laughs> But so late, but but when when they when they shut the whole thing off, I was mostly worried because I talked to the team behind mm -hmm. us, like, did people see this? Yeah, they did. I'm like, so what happens if they're not? I mean, what is the experience for you guys? What if I can't rebuild the energy again? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's like watching a movie and then you know at the end of the scene you're like, <laughs> like yes, yeah. all over again. You'd be like, oh, power cut. You know, right? <laughs> So I was mainly worried about you guys. That was what I was worried about. So, but you know, we looked at each other and we were laughing afterwards. I'm like, hey, you know what? It's it's just music, so let's go. So it yeah. was not. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have to mention that I I I really admire the activist in many ways because mm -hmm. I'm an activist myself. I was an activist in many ways in Baku fighting for you know and yeah. we're all small activists because we believe in change and so to be able to to find strength to stand in front of thousands of people risking it all because he knew he was going to be tackled down or whatever and so but they handled it pretty nice i must say but but it's still a risk being an activist and he was so brave mm. i appreciate that because that could have been me <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. well, so I do appreciate him for really, you know, fighting and, do, and taking a risk and taking a fight for all of us because yeah. it's important. And how do you feel about possibly going through this whole experience once again after having done it in Baku and having won the contest? I mean, if it goes that far, I feel very safe because, you know, the Melody Festival and the Eurovision community is like home for me. Mm -hmm. I feel home. It's very deep. Like every time I'm in a Eurovision, if there's a Eurovision gig or a show, it's a beautiful, uh, what is it, connection. Mm -hmm. So for me to, if that were to happen, darling, we never know about life. But if that were to happen, then I feel, I feel I have the energy. I feel I have something mm -hmm. to say. I feel committed. And I feel home. I feel like I'm with my people in many yeah. ways. It started here, like before the Eurovision, before Melody Festival, and like this is the community that accepted me for who I am. Mm -hmm. It said like, "Hey, I like your vibe, man. You can come in here." Like nowhere else was I was I welcomed in. Like you know, I tried one community. Like, can I be here? They're like, "No, you're not cool enough." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> okay." Can I Who be? dares to say no to Lorena? I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was a kid at the time. Like, can I come in here? Like, no, no I, you know, think you're um, uh, okay. And then Melody Festival, I'm like, but you can hang here. We're a bunch of crazy ass people like you, and you can hang here. We love diversity, so you can hang here. Mm -hmm. As long as you work hard and you, you know, you know, and you're being authentic, you can be with us. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So you, you get totally it. your kind of people. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And it has grown on me more and more throughout the years. I'm like, yeah, we need to appreciate this forum even more because it, 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 it it's in inclusive and it's diverse and it's loving and not judgmental and it's growing. And there's a reason why it's growing because people feel at home. They feel appreciated. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lorraine, for this really lovely chat. I thank wish you the very best of luck in Friends Arena on Saturday, and we hope to see you in Liverpool. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs>